Hey, good morning to everybody. Now look what we have here. Look at this beautiful 2016 Toyota Aqua or Prius C that happens to be high. Well, this is my car. But welcome to this new episode of Fiber Solutions Diagnostic and I want to share with you something extremely, extremely interesting. We just received a mystery package from our good friend Jack from Dr. Prius app. And I want to share with you because I think it might be the very new first model prototype of the upgrader version 2.0 of the Nexel lithium battery that comes with many improvements. I haven't tried it yet. So he kindly sends us a, a test battery. I think so. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna have to open the battery, install it on the install it on my car, and see how the proper test was results give. Okay, so stick around so we will continue then. Hi again. Jose, what in the world are you dressing as a civilian today? Well, one thing I just get accustomed already these past few months is I'm doing TikTok every day. So we created a community of almost 10,000 subscribers in Hybrid Solution Diagnostic TikTok. What is this about? Before we continue with the with next battle and see what's going on. Well, TikTok allows me to share with you guys every single every daily job that I'm doing, very interesting things that I might be working, batteries, diagnostics, all these kind of things, and share it to you every single day. So uh, just to say, less than four, maybe five months, we're doing TikTok on the community of about 10,000 subscribers. Well, <laughs> I'm strongly amazed about this one, and then of course, very grateful to the followers of even TikTok as well as our YouTube channel. Although, once again, I'm pretty sure you guys love our channel here in YouTube. So please, if you like our channel, hit that button, like and subscribe. Now, before we continue, I want to share with you over here. I just recently opened in this box. Let me show you quickly. All right, let's see what we get in here. All right, let's see. All right, next cell lithium inside, next cell. Uh, New decal for V2. Hmm. All right. Hi, Jose. Here are the points discussed regarding safety, performance, and efficiency, and maintenance. So he sent us a personal letter about this battery. So I don't know what is it, but let's take a quick look at it. Stick around. Hold on. All right. Once I took it off, I see we have a new sticker now. It's not the blue one. So. Here key points we discussed regarding the version 2 safety. The V2 aggressive balance strategy ensures that the battery is not overcharged in the event of mechanical fa uh, brake fade, failure, preventing damage, perimeter uh, uh, failure. More detail, this issue was discovered by Uber drivers that continue killing the nickel metal and lithium battery. Hmm, this is important. Performance and efficiency. The new cover design with temperature proof in direct contact with the lithium cells allows more accurate temperature reading. The higher temperature reading promotes the use of electric proportion power and improve the fuel efficiency, particularly in cold temperature. What about hot temperature? <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Maintenance. More aggressive balanced circuit board makes it easier to mix new and old battery blades, eliminating the need of equalizer blades. Simply force charge the vehicle and increase state of charge by 10% and wait for it to balance out. Oh, is this for real? So we're talking about that this new prototype battery has a self-balancing system if this is real this is amazing because you know what precisely because of this the toyota nickel hydro does not have a self-balancing system you have to remember nickel hydro are super stable so they don't really need that but what happens if we still use it you're always going to be using 100 percent of your battery's capacity so if this is true that is super super great and a great update okay so let's continue then but before we continue the video, let me share with you guys, because I had to make a call once I received this mystery package because I had lots of questions and somebody sent a great message to you guys. So take a look at it. Hello everyone, this is Jack from Dr. Preset. Behind me is the latest and greatest version 2 prototype. 
We listen to our customer and we work with the top installer in the world, including Hybrid Solution Diagnostic, came up with the idea and make things happen. So this is going to be revolutionary. It has a lot of new feature and stability that people can only drink of in the nickel metal hydro battery. So it's coming out soon, so stay tuned. So I must say, okay, best regards, Jack. All right, Jack, thank you so much. Okay, the instructions, okay, every, all, all Nexo batteries comes with their instructions. And let's see what we have here. V1 circuit board, V1 cover. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Let me open this, give me a second. All right, let's see what we have. Huh? What in the world is this? Series of, uh, let me see, lithium capacity, 7.0 amp hour, okay. Hmm. Let me open the other one. But I wonder, why are these covers coming out of the, the battery? <laughs> Let me check, just continue. All right, we got this one, let's see what we here. Circuit board of V1, let's see. Circuit board, what does this even mean? What? Okay, our adapter cables for our, char our chargers, more of this one circuit boards these are the balancers and all oh? production oh okay 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 i got it i got it i got it i got it this is the old version and this is the new version that comes now with a ventilated vent for each cell what is this for real let me open it up hey i just want to share this with you life eh? now remember i'm using just one single hand let's see let me see let me see yeah, hey, I'm very excited to this, you know. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. I got, I got, I got, I got it. So, okay. So they don't come with this anymore. They come with a ventilated cover, and not only that, the temperature sensor is not entering now in a horizontal way, but it goes vertical, which means that's gonna touch now directly the lithium cell. Mmm, a very nice upgrade, but the other thing is that he gave us, this looks like the old boards that all the blades come within, because this is, remember, this is the passive balancer system, and he's saying that now it has a self-balancing system, okay, to all the modules to, resain, to, to remain the very same voltage. This is amazing. So what am I going to do? I'm going to install this battery in my car and begin to test it right away because I'm very, very excited. Now this one is the stronger one. This is the 7.0 amp hour. So I haven't tested this one in my car yet with a cell balancing system. Jack, thank you so much. I'm very excited. But we're gonna test it and see what's going on. Wait a minute. But before doing that, of course, I have to take out the battery from my car, completely disassemble and install this one. What am I gonna do with my old one? Nothing, my battery is in perfect condition. After three years that I bought this car, the battery is still over 90%. So nothing to complain. We're just going upgrade now. But remember, I already have lots of tutorial, taking apart the battery, even installing the Nexel battery. So check out in our previous video, all the tutorials you wanna see, we already have it. Once again, look at me, dresses as a civilian well, as I said, the talk is making me a little crazy. <laughs> so, we will continue then. Well, here it is. This is the very first prototype high voltage battery version 2.0 of the Nexel lithium battery for Prius C and Toyota Aqua. So, you know what? I want to thank my good friend Jack from Dr. Prius app because he gave us the very nice privilege to test this very first battery in the world here at Hybrid Solution Diagnostic. So I'm not gonna show you guys how to take apart the battery because I have tons of videos about that. But let me just install it right away in my battery. My battery is in good condition, doesn't have any trouble. But this version that has a cell balancing system with a 7.0 amp hour, hmm, I think this battery is gonna be more strong than anyone so far. I am very excited to install it on my battery. So let me show you quickly some little details. All right, so as you can see, we have now a ventilation over here and a more aggressive big bore on it. Although remember, this is not the final product. This is a 3D printer. The final product is this one. Can you see the difference? And now the 
temperature sensor is going to touch the lithium cell, which is great. But in the meantime, it's the very same uh, cells. All the connections are the very same. This, the special service blade over here. Okay. Ah, oh, no. Let me just take out the battery and do what I got to do. So we will continue then. Actually, scrapping my battery over here. This I remember the last time I took out this battery. This is my battery. It was about over a year ago. Let's see the real condition of the battery after over one year. Just by keeping it clean. Look at those boss bars. The level of corrosion is absolutely none. You know what this means, right? If you keep it cold, if you keep it clean, your eye voltage battery won't suffer at all. Now let me show you the other side. Let's see. Looks like, like you're seeing corrosion, but there's no corrosion at all. Look at the boss bars are impeccable. All this tiny little crap that you see in here, those that, that's the old corrosion. You see? Absolutely impeccable. Once again, we're talking about over almost two years since the last time. But once again, the secret is keep it clean and keep it well ventilated using the air conditioning and your battery won't suffer absolutely no. This battery, after three years since I bought the vehicle, still over 90% and this vehicle, remember this is 2016. So the good thing about my battery is that in great condition, we're just gonna do a better one. We shall see. All right, so the final product, as good as it gets. I was actually opening, opening the unit by myself because I wanted to see the boards inside, the new circuit boards, and the boards are not going uh, vertical, but going horizontal over here. But, 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 yes, the new ventilation looks pretty nice. So this battery is ready to install. But one of the greatest thing is that this battery does not really need to be serviced at all. It's just a full replacement and that's it because I keep it clean as it gets. Let me quickly show you again. Yeah, look, see my point? Absolutely no corrosion, nothing. Now I was remembering one thing. Mm. Who remembers the guy that understands the auto that was messing with me a bunch of crap? I don't use the uh, nickel cup, the nickel bus bars, all those things because they get corroded. The corrosion goes inside the modules. Oh my God. Yeah, well, anyway, that's one of the haters that I remember the most. Absolutely no problem, as you can see for yourself. After almost two years, look, zero corrosion and no problems at all. The problem is when you overheat the battery and don't service over a long period of time, it is when the battery truly goes bad. Now, it's nothing I can do. I gotta definitely take these out and let's swap out this new the very good condition nickel metal hydra for the brand new version of the Nexel upgrade lithium battery version 2.0. So we will continue then. Yep, there we go. Beautiful, right? Let's see how it looks. The version 2.0 of the Nexel lithium battery. Whew. It's hot here, although I have air conditioning here in the room. So. Gonna finish the install. We will continue then. Oh yeah, before we continue, you have to remember that only the service plug uh, or service blade, special blade, this side, this. It takes absolutely nothing. That's the great thing that I like about the lithium battery. Although I just put this bus bar holder just to protect the cable from touching or rubbing the metal frame. All right, so let's continue then. We're almost done. All right, yeah. I got late in the night, but the battery is already installed. So far it's been on for a bunch of minutes and doing just fine. Woo! Yeah, I know it's dark. But the thing is, uh, give me a second. Let me show you quickly what are the data that the computer is showing at the moment. I again. All right. Let's see how we do. 
let's see what the, the computer is showing me give me a second all right how much voltage difference so far between one and another 0 0.37 34 absolutely nothing let's see how the data looking between the modules great voltage different 0 0.08 super wonderful although because the battery is cold let me see she's been on for a bunch of minutes so we gotta wait until she discharge but the thing is remember usually when you buy an Excel battery it doesn't matter if it's the new one or whatever do not do the capacity tests when the battery is new you gotta dry the vehicle for a little while so usually I drive them for more than an hour to allow cycle the battery pretty much although the instruction from a recommendation from Nexel is just to hold on for at least 100 100 miles 100 kilometers that should be more than enough but once you will really see the difference in your uh, fuel range after you install this battery so I am very excited I'm going to reset I'm gonna to go to the gas station top of the tank and see how much mileage I use. I'm don't use it in equal. I'm using it in normal, and because I have a bigger tires now, uh, it's marking a little different. So we just see. Now in the meantime, and as I said, no need for any capacity test. So thank you so much for watching. I'll keep you posted about the results in the TikTok. So follow the TikTok, okay? I'll see you then. Bye bye.